Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mini Metro. Looks like we'll be heading up to the very last city, which, no, not the very last, my apologies, but we will be tackling Cairo in Egypt. We've got six lines and I'm not gonna, yeah, breach the Nile. Yeah, it's gonna be the Nile that's in the middle, so we should probably get started right away, so. It's kind, of, it's kind of being an exhausting day and very, very interesting weather down here in Melbourne at the moment. It's actually, um, it's like it's cold, it's hot, and the wet, and the temperature just changes all of a sudden, and you're just like, what the heck is wrong with this place? And it's, I had trouble sleeping last night. It was just, uh, it was like 30, 33 degrees, and it was so hot, and I was just tossing and turning around in bed, and um. Took me a while. Took me a while to fall asleep, and even then, I kept waking up in the middle of the night, which was a pain, an absolute pain. And as a result, I'm just all kinds of woozy today. And I, it's, it's I'm just like in this half state of concentration, half concentration. And part of me is just like the productive side of me is just screaming. You know, you should probably do something today. And the other side is like, you know, can we just? go back to bed and just sleep off the rest of the sleeplessness and it's well I thought you know the out of all things I should do you know I should probably just sit down and record a video because then you know it means I can actually get my brain thinking for a bit and then because this is kind of like a strategy game it will keep my brain thinking on another level and so far two minutes in it seems to be working so I'm going to assume that's a good thing and Hopefully, we will get some significant success here in Mini Metro. So, it, here in Cairo, Egypt, uh, our, um, our main goal once again is to get 500. To, to get 500 so that we can unlock the last city. Naturally, I would like to aim for 8,000 once again. But, of course, whether that will be successful or not will depend on what happens. So, assuming this is the Nile down here, down the river thingy down the middle, I'm hoping some of the islands will not have stations, or much rather, when we do have stations, it would just be one bridge just going all the way through like that, and it is exactly as I expected, so we should not have to worry too much about that. So, sweet two, what do I want? Do I like one lines or tunnels? Um, I'm gonna go with another line. Again, I'm gonna follow the same logic in the sense that we're going to try and max out our lines first. The fact that they did not offer us a carriage suggests that there's not... I'm just thinking back to the last video where um, it, it was certainly a lot of... Um, like, the the cust uh, number of customers coming to each station was at a much faster rate. And so that's where I sort of just struggle and... Ended up, ended up with a, um, which was like 730, so that's certainly not the best result that I was aiming for, but nevertheless, it's sort of just past, the, past my milestone, so it's one of those, well, you know, you can take it or leave it, but the fact remains that you still unlock the new city as a result by going over 500, so it's, you know, and plus it was my first attempt as well, so I think it's pretty good for a first attempt. It will be much more challenging once we get to the channels levels, so I am quite excited for that moment, and hopefully we will see what... Ho hopefully, once I start poking around, and once I actually sort of just like get, like, actually look at the whole list and just look at them and play, play around with the cities that uh, correspond to these challenges, we'll see what eventually happens. So, this green line is getting a little too long, so, um... Certainly, the because the other because the other problem is that we've only got one tunnel here, which means that when we extend the line, it can only be like once. So that may be a bit of a problem. But uh, for now, um, for for now, it seems that we are not getting as much congestion on on the stations on the green line. So we probably won't have to worry about it too much. But so far, in terms of the station spawning, it seems to be fairly straightforward. No odd outliers basically so so far i'm not too particularly worried and we haven't got any odd stations i mean like we've got two square stations here and then the rest have been all triangle and circle stations so once again i'm not too particularly worried and um hopefully things will be trucking along well 
Apart from that, this oh, it's week three already. Goodness, time does fly. So, do I want a new line or do I want a new carriage? I think. While I've still got a new line here, I'm gonna go for the carriage and I'm gonna attach this carriage to the green one so that you can just. When more customers pile up here, obviously I, I will want more carriage capacity to be able to transport and carry some of the passengers out from that area. So we still got one one extra line and one locomotive, and this was exactly what I I was thinking might happen. So what we have now is that we've got um we have to use three we have to use our our spare bridge here. And now since the green line is so long now, I'm just gonna add the extra train to that. And it looks like this train is getting this red line is getting a bit busy, so I'm just gonna add it. I actually wonder. So I'm just gonna add another train to this, so just to help with the congestion with the build up. But it's um just wondering, maybe I shouldn't. Um I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yes, calm your tits. Please, I have two trains coming after you. There we go. Alright, certainly we are starting to get some problems with a very long green loop. So I have a feeling like maybe I will want to remove this train. Uh, okay, so that's actually going to be a problem. I guess the question is, do I still want to pass... The, uh, do, do I want this to connect it to a square line? And I have a feeling that my answer is going to be no. Mainly because um, it's sort of like... I'm just thinking, I want, I want the green to sort of just keep varying passages around it. And if it has to worry about a square passenger, then that may be a problem. So we'll try that. We'll try like excluding certain stations from certain lines. So that it's like, once they move this over here, it's just basically varying some of the work over to the other trains. So what's what's a bit interesting is that we've got this longer green line, which is ha which has two two locomotives on it, and here we've got this red one which has two locomotives on it, and I only put on the second one after, well, in response to this station being a bit of a pain in the ass, really. So blue, no, that's not how I wanted it. Locomotive, thank you. Do I want a line or do I want a tunnel? Um, since I still haven't used my new line, I'm gonna go for tunnels, just so that we can have a bit more flexibility with lines crossing the river. So, right now, I I feel like maybe maybe I will move one of one of the red red stage bleh, one of the red trains to one of the blue ones, and um, I'm also thinking uh, if there's circles and triangles and diamond. Well, this is the only diamond station here, which can be a problem. But certainly the other thing that's happening here is that we're sort of stretching ourselves a bit further down south, which can be can be a bit of a problem. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna keep extend the red line a bit more, take a take and um just let it handle a few more extra hmm Yeah, let it handle a few more extras and then hopefully things will work out in the, in our favour. But it looks like now we should probably add an orange line to help deal with some of the issues happening here. So that should hopefully sort of just help ferry some some st some some customers along along this route. I think one um Alrighty, so let me detach that and bring that back here. Alrighty, so Hmm. We will definitely want to have a, another train line next uh, at the end of at the end of this coming week because we are certainly getting getting some issues with the blue line being a little overburdened even though we've got two trains. So I'm I'm feeling like part of me wants to extend the red line to deal with these stations and the other the other part sort of wants me to sort of just um what is it? I guess what I'm wondering now is that should I extend the green line back? to include the square. So, oh dear, what up, what up, okay. All right, I'm gonna pause for a second here. Uh, I need to extend this. The, what I'm trying to think now is that whether I should consider reattaching the green line back to the square station. And I think that is probably a safer idea. So this one, thankfully that's being dealt with for 
You know, I... Something's... I only just notice each train can only carry four passengers. That is that is a significant problem that I I don't know why I did not observe that earlier, which is like okay, locomotive and I want a new line, thank you. Alright, now what's the plan here? I want to have a bit more transport moving around here. I want I want a bit more attention to these and a bit more attention to that. So what I'm so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna this is very confusing. It's a grey line, but it looks like we don't actually have one. <laughs> All right, so let's let's have this grey line. We'll have this loop around the outside here, and um, I'm thinking I'm not very comfortable with this long extension. So I'm um, I'm thinking maybe I should try and loop it around the inside a bit more. But uh, we'll we'll yeah. But nevertheless, it's, it's linking square to a triangle to a circle, and um, hope it will hopefully it will hopefully get things moving around in in that area. So hopefully we should be fine for the next week at least. But nevertheless, we are approaching 500 fairly soon. So I don't well, we won't have to worry about unlocking the next city because we seem to be pretty much well on the way to doing so. But I think it's in it's interesting seeing that um, each train can only each train and each carriage can only can only hold four passengers because that means like it's maybe it's not as interesting maybe it doesn't really affect the logistics so much um, and I, I guess the question is um, I'm now I'm sort of what I'm thinking in my head right now is that I'm trying to form some kind of theory as to how long the line should be and it, in terms of sort of just like trying to move passengers around especially when the lines are so short especially when the trains have smaller capacity than anticipated because it's like it means that when uh, I, I i still can't get the it's frustrating i i i have it i have it as an abstract idea in my head but i kind of i can't put it into words it's more like because there's less or like there's less capacity should the lines be shorter in because like it's it will take more trips to funnel more passengers around so yeah I'll, I'll just i'll just leave i'll just leave myself with that and hopefully it's hopefully the the sort of the actual the overall theory will come to me eventually i'm having a feeling that maybe i should extend another train line across the river just to help facilitate some more moving around and um, but i'm not quite sure which or what I should be doing. So I'm um, it's like maybe I should move this blue line here and use a couple use use the bridges I have. And that should hopefully ease the congestion on this station a little. So but I don't think that's gonna be I what are you Okay. I'm <laughs> I'm I guess I'm freaking out a little. So I've got a line and I've got a carriage. I'm gonna go for a line. I'm gonna pause this for a second. I'm gonna detach this one. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna use this last line to sort of funnel passengers around this bottom area. So, but what I need to do, what I also need to do is, is that I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at, so there's a diamond, diamond goes to orange. I still want to link this to a square, circle and triangle. So, uh, and link this to the bottom here. Okay, so, no, and then we'll do that. Hopefully that will deal with this bottom part a little more, but I have a feeling that now that we've maxed out our lines, we will definitely be a bit hard pressed to continue um, supporting some of the more isolated areas. How do I miss this one? I'm hoping there will be a couple more stations up here which will sort of just help deal with um sort of varying some of the some of the passengers up here over here. I think the it's Alright, so this is alright, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delink this to and what I'm asking myself now is that do I want to link the orange to this teardrop station? And I think I can do that at least by just mi mirroring the green line as well. And 
I'm not quite sure that's the best decision because I think in terms of um, efficiency, but it's um, it's sort of the decision decision that makes the most sense to me at the moment. So we'll go with that, and this is exactly what I was looking for. We've got a, we've got one more station here, so that if there's any squares that sort of come up along here, they can sort of be moved down this gray gray line down to there. And um, so far, it seems to be chopping along fairly smoothly. But I think what I would like to do is hopefully get something up this top area. So I'm, but I'm not quite sure how to achieve it just yet. So um, since we're definitely out of lines, which means I will have to reuse one of the existing lines. So we we will okay. So it looks like that's being dealt with eventually, and it's almost ending. It's almost nearing the end of Friday. So I've got this yellow part at the bottom, so I'm thinking maybe I should move the blue line to sort of deal with these areas up here. So, um, just, I'm gonna think about this for a second. I think the main problem with that is that I need more tunnels, so if I have an opportunity to get two more tunnels, then I would definitely take that opportunity. So, almost near inside the day, let's hope we don't lose just yet. Um... Because that, that, I, I feel like there's not much I can really, I just, there's really not much I can do for this set of stations for the time being because of the way I've got my, my structures built up. And this one is really far out which is going to be a problem. So, end of Sunday. Oh boy, locomotive. Now, given the amount of congestion that's happening, I actually feel like I should take a carriage. So that some of our trains have a bit more additional support. And um, yeah, definitely with the tunnels, it's a bit difficult to justify taking tunnels, especially when I don't have any extra lines to sort of cross the now. So I'm going to take the carriage and then I'm going to pause once again and I'm going to see. Hmm. Okay, I think what's best is that I'm going to extend the blue line to include these. And then, since I've got the blue line doing several trains, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add this to the red line. I'm gonna add a carriage to this. And that should hopefully alleviate some of the issues coming up here. Now, down here is definitely another problem that will certainly need a bit of attention. I think the main problem is with the diamond station only being only being on the orange line so that there is a bit of congestion here happening with some, some of the passengers waiting there. So with 816, which is past our 500 initial goal, not quite hitting a thousand again, but definitely over 750. So I think this was a fairly reasonable attempt. And with that, I'm very happy to actually at least unlock the next, uh, the next, uh, which is Auckland in New Zealand. And I'll be very interested to see how much more difficult this one is. So with that, Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.